Hello, welcome to RT Today, where we bring you Middletown High School's announcements for the week ahead, a wrap-up of what's happening in the last week, and more. I'm Jacob Holcomb. This week's show is brought to you by... The Main Cup, local flavor that perks. Good morning, I'm Mallory Beck. Let's take a look at This Week in History. In This Week in History, on December 16, 1773, U.S. colonists protested against the Tea Act and the extent of the British Parliament's authority over the British American colonies, including new taxes, a.k.a. the Boston Tea Party. The colonists' primary dispute was no taxation without representation. The Tea offered a way to protest no representation for the colonies in the British government. Following the decisions of officials in Boston who refused to return three shiploads of tax tea to Britain, a group of colonists boarded the ships and destroyed the tea by throwing it into the Boston Harbor. That's your look at This Week in History. Up next, Caden Ratcliffe shares with us this week's birthdays. Happy birthday this week to Freddie Diaz, Nicholas Pusey, Lorenzo Richards, Andrew Adams, Matthew Bedry, Ava Barber, Consuela Agostini Broad, Haley Hamilton, Tyler Miller, Cherokee Six, and Aaron Augustine. Students planning to take dual enrollment classes next semester must complete the dual enrollment paperwork. To finalize your enrollment in the courses, contact your counselor with any questions. Seniors, please update the status of your college lists in your Naviance accounts. This helps the counselors significantly. If you have submitted college applications, change the status to submitted. If you have heard back from a college, please update to show the result. If you need help, contact your counselor. Career and Technology Center virtual shadowing is now open through fri Friday, February 26th. FCPS students in grades 9, 10, and 11 who are interested in learning more and or applying to a program at the Career and Technology Center for the 2020 to 2021 school year can now sign up for a virtual shadow experience. You must shadow before you can apply. For more information, look in the counseling newsletter in your Schoology account in the materials folder or contact Mrs. Bertolitis in the counseling office. Let's take a look at what's been happening in the rest of the world. Jacob? World War II test pilot Chuck Yeager died Monday, December 7th in a Los Angeles hospital at the age of 97. Yeager was, the, was famous for being the first person to break the sound barrier and fly faster than sound, something that was thought impossible until he did it. Yeager will surely go down in history as one of America's greatest pilots. As new coronavirus cases continue to surge, many states are tightening their restrictions on activities and businesses that are, residents are allowed to attend to. Amidst growing numbers of cases, it is a ray of hope. Canada approved the Pfizer vaccine on Wednesday, December 9th, and on Tuesday, December 8th, the UK gave the world's first doses of the Pfizer vaccine to multiple UK citizens. One man to receive the vaccine was fittingly named William Shakespeare. US citizens are preparing for the FDA to approve the vaccine for the United States. According to recent story of X. Axios Media California representative Eric Swalwell was one of the several targets for the Chinese spy for 2011 to 2015. A Chinese civilian named Christian Fang, also known as Fang Fang, was a suspected Chinese operative that developed relationships with up to coming politicians and United States Swalwell who was a Californian mayor at the time, ran for president in 2020, and Swalwell says that the FBI notified him of Fang's Chinese connections in the 2015, and he immediately cut off all contact. Back to Mallory with what's been happening in the world of arts, entertainment, and celebrity. Pop star Britney Spears lost a bid to remove her father, Jamie Spears, as her conservator. He has been her co-conservator with Britney Spears' attorney, Andrew Wallet, since 2008 and became sole conservator in 2019. Britney Spears has admitted to being afraid of her father and will not perform while he is still in control of her estate and finances. Breakdancing will be making its Olympic debut at Paris in 2024 and will be the first dance sport event to emerge in the Olympic Games. 
The competition will consist of 16 boys and 16 girls who compete breakdancing competitively in one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one battles in hopes to attract younger audiences to their games. The British royal family continues to grow with the announcement that Zara Tyndall, Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter, is pregnant with the Queen's ninth great-grandchild. Tyndall is the daughter of Princess Anne, the Queen's only daughter. Now Jacob catches us up with, with what's been happening on and off the field. Thanks, Mallory. NBA player Russell Westbrook has been traded from the Houston Rockets to the Washington Wizards in exchange for point guard John Wall and 2023 first-round pick. This will be the third team Westbrook has played for during his career. He will reunite with Wizards coach Scott Brooks after spending seven years together on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz has been benched in favor of Jalen Hurts. This comes after Wentz's terrible first 12 games of the season as he leads the NFL in interceptions up to this point. Wentz's terrible performance comes as a surprise as he was one of the league's top quarterbacks before this season. Jalen Hurts, a second round pick in the world in the 2020 NFL draft, will be the starting quarterback for the Eagles. The Ohio State-Michigan football game, scheduled for December 12th, has been canceled due to an outbreak of COVID-19 within the Michigan football program. These two teams share one of the biggest rivalries in college football. The cancellation of the game have made number four ranked Ohio State ineligible for the Big Ten title game because of the conference's six-game minimum requirement. But the Big Ten challenge its possibility to allow for a championship match between the Ohio State and Northwestern on December 19th. Finally, MHS principal Bernie Casada shares some words of wisdom. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Casada with some words this week from our friends at Project Wisdom. What do you think a resource is? Money? Real estate? Gold? American author Peter Drucker didn't believe that all resources are material things. Listen to what he said. The individual is the most precious capital resource of our society. In other words, each individual human being is more valuable and more precious than anything else in the world. That's an interesting thing to think about. If Mr. Drucker was right, that means that you as an individual are more valuable than anything money can buy. Don't ever believe that you are worthless. You are an important and unique part of our society. And if you choose to do your best, you can contribute more than your weight in gold. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful week.